So welcome back to episode 24 of Fail Female Friday. In today's episode, we're actually going to be talking about a case that I'm surprised hasn't had um, much coverage, considering that it actually involved one of our former presidents. Let's just go ahead and get started. So unfortunately, I don't actually have like when Amber was born or anything, but apparently the only thing we have really about her childhood is said that allegedly she was sexually abused as a child, which obviously caused her like insecurity. And so Amber ended up meeting her husband, James, thanks to like a cousin. And so, unfortunately for James, his father had been killed by a former employee back in, like, 1997. And apparently, James was only 18 when this happened. And it had left him a, basically a good inheritance for a comfortable lifestyle when he had just turned 18. So, as Eva said, allegedly, the president said James had offered her money to produce his child. And I... Oh! And obviously her being like 19 at the time, she of course said no. So it turns out, um, even though he already did get a good cut of the inheritance, he was actually supposed to get like more if he had, if he was married with children. And you would do it too for a check. And so of course, um, fast forward, Amber and James, they get engaged. And on their wedding day, it's even said that Amber had actually passed out. And I, oh. Sorry, James and Amber had had a daughter by the name of Claire in the fall of 1999. James had apparently walked in on Amber talking about Claire, like how she just had a daughter. And James was very angry because he didn't want anyone knowing that they just had a kid together. So, of course, this is like the late 2000s. And, of course, Amber and James have been married for a while now. And of course, she's miserable. Um, he was abusing her physically, mentally, and sexually. He, uh, James is also said to be a white supremacist. And oh, wow. Oh, wow. He spent most of his inheritance that he had earned trying to get item like, Nazi propaganda and items that Hitler himself had actually owned. So no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And, and it's also said that he actually suffered from paranoid sch schizophrenia. <laughs> and so because of this, he would not allow anybody from Amber's life involved in their life, like including her own family. Whenever he would try to hit on Claire, the daughter, Amber would also step in and take like the punches for her. There were several times that Amber actually did try to leave, but of course, every time she left, it always failed and the abuse ended up getting worse after she came back and so james unfortunately actually had an obsession with child pornography i am disgusted and so uh despite being married apparently james had his own little bed and amber had her own little bed so on december 9th 2007 amber got up with her daughter and then went up to her room went to i guess like her back to her room and then got like a 45 done <sighs> boy that escalated quickly I mean, that really got out of hand fast. And so apparently she was originally planning to commit suicide with this gun, but uh, luckily before she did, she realized that if she was deceased now, nothing would stop James from doing what he wanted to Claire. She goes to James' room, basically shoots him, and then kills him. She then grabs her daughter Claire, goes to the neighbor's house, calls 911. And so of course, once the police go to the house, they find like all the Nazi paraphernalia and stuff. And... They find instructions and ingredients that's supposed to be made for a bomb that was apparently supposed to go off at Obama's inauguration. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Because I remember, remember I said James was a white supremacist and this was 2007. So Obama had just won the election. This was, so this was Obama's first term, right? So Obama was going to be like the first black president of the United States. It was like a major deal. And obviously him being a white supremacist and a, a Nazi lover, he obviously didn't like that. So that's what the bomb was for. He's going to use it at the inauguration and hopefully kill Obama. If anyone else had to die, whoever voted for him, I guess he felt they deserved to die too. Uh, the plan was actually to drive to the inauguration and then he was going to set up, set the bomb off there somehow. How if the bomb had actually been successful, which as we all obviously know it wasn't, thousands of innocent people would have died. Uh, despite obviously being seen as a hero for doing this, she was still put on trial and over 100 people actually uh, came, came wearing shirts that said free Amber. Amber, of course, pled guilty to the murder and a judge actually gave her only eight years, but that sentence was actually suspended and she ended up walking out free in 2010. 
Amber actually did only have one request, and that was actually to somehow forgive James and actually not to hold anything against him. funny Tammy don't start laughing just who you want it first and so unfortunately I couldn't find any current information about where Amber is Amber apparently is in her from what I could find Amber is like in her mid 40s and apparently she's living her best life that was episode 24 of Fail Female Friday the case of Amber Cummings and so I hope I will see you fail females in the next one bye